this picture, starting with the first row to the left, is Josephine with her child Linda, Ben's wife with her daughter Yolanda, Rosa with son Theodore, next is Auntie Rose and Uncle Philip, Mama's brother. The second row, starting from the left, is Gonzalo, Papa with Annie, Mama, Eleanor, the daughter of Aunt Rose, Impo, Incom, and Paul. He is the first son of another marriage of Uncle Philip, Mama's brother. On the third row is Ben, Marcelina, Marcel, Laura, Koyang, Helen, Rosa's husband Steve, Josie's husband Frank, and Eddie. This is another family group picture taken earlier. You notice our older sister, Priscilla, or Ate, is also in this picture. These are group pictures of the five youngest of the family. Gonzalo, Edward, Helen, Laura and myself. always insisted that we went to Mass on Sundays and we always had to dress up to go to Mass. Our parents, however, never did go to Mass. Father Ernest, our pastor, would come to the house and ask Papa, why don't you come to Mass? And Papa would always answer, we can always pray at home. Papa always kept a bottle of brandy for Father Ernest and both of them were very good friends. Since we had a big family, and whenever we included uncle and his family, and in Po and in Kong, there was no room in our dining room for everyone. So Papa built a low table, a long table, where we could all sit on the grass and have our meal. To keep us occupied, Papa built a playhouse complete with a front porch, a swing set, also a monkey bar, and a seesaw. When we got tired of that, we were about a half a mile from the beach and we would always go swimming. The first generation profile. The following is a profile of my brothers and sisters in the order of their age. The information is what is available as I remember it. Priscilla 
Priscilla, the firstborn daughter. Our grandparents and our parents called her Nene, and never by her given name. I guess Nene means oldest daughter. We were taught that we must always show respect because she was the oldest. We called her Ate, never by her given name. Whereas the older sisters below her were called Ate, followed by their given name. Ate was born in Kahuku, and upon graduation from high school, she worked for the Army Laundry Service, where she met and married Johnny Dang. Her marriage and life was shortened when she died during childbirth. The baby also died. Ate is pictured here on the far right, kneeling. These are her fellow laundry workers at a picnic. This picture was taken at Ate's funeral. Tall gentleman in the center was her husband, Johnny Dang. <laughs> 